Devontae Davis, Ryan Garcia, final fight predictions. Nothing to lose, fight of the year. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all, so. Assalamu alaikum to my Muslim brothers and sisters around the world. As we come to the end of Ramadan, I want to express my support and admiration for your dedication and sacrifice during this holy month. I stand in solidarity with our Muslim community in the Philippines and around the world. It's fight night. <laughs> we are finally there. We have arrived. It's time to throw down. Put up or shut up. Let's get it on. And I want to get my final fight prediction before it all goes down. I also want to, you know, break down why I feel like Ryan Garcia has nothing to lose and whether this will be fight of the year. So let me start with my final fight prediction and who I think is going to win, why they're going to win once again, and how it's going to impact the 135 division and boxing in general. So... You know, I think everybody knows by now who I'm picking to win this fight. Um, Javante Davis, man, I don't know if everybody got to see <laughs> the whole press conference and what transpired. Little dude is a banger. And did y'all notice? <laughs> did y'all notice Mike Tyson behind uh, Javante Davis in the way <laughs> and how much he was cheesing? <laughs> I think Tyson saw himself. I think he got a glimpse of himself reincarnated inside of Javante Davis in yesterday's weigh-in. It was so crazy to watch. It was, you know, whether it was real or fake, are these guys really hate each other or not, uh, it's very good for the fight because it's, it's going to sell the fight even more. Whenever there's controversy and beef, it always ups the sales of anything. We get money the right way. Yeah. The legal way. To see Mike Tyson there and just the smell and the jubilation that was on his face, you could tell he was truly enjoying himself uh, to be there. Whether he was back in Ryan or whether he's back in Javante, it really doesn't matter. It's good to see the legend Mike Tyson still around. It would have been awesome if Ali was around to see this man. And, and and be a part of this and i i think he he would be so proud of these guys man but after all of that i think that javante davis is definitely going to win this fight i think he's going in with all intentions of proving a point whether that point is to knock ryan garcia out or not or just punish him for 12 rounds he's definitely going in to win this fight both guys weighed in at 135. Ryan Garcia was a half a pound above the uh, 135 limit. But both of the guys were under the 136 limit. So that's good to know. Most definitely Ryan's going to probably rehydrate to 140-something wherever he ends up right before the fight. I don't really think it matters at this point. There are going to be some bombshells. And my final fight prediction I got Javante Davis by KO, eighth round, uppercut. He's going to catch Ryan Garcia with an uppercut. It's going to end the fight. I think Ryan's going to gas himself the first five rounds. Uh, round six, round seven, Javante Davis is going to start opening up on him. He's going to hit another girl, and that uppercut is going to come out of nowhere. Now, as far as this fight uh, being fight of the year and Ryan Garcia having nothing to lose, what I mean by that, I think Ryan Garcia can, he can throw everything at the wall in this fight. You have nothing to lose. Even if you lose, everybody expected you to lose, so it's really not going to impact your career that much. Like I said, you know, videos ago, he's the new Canelo in a way. I think that... Even if he takes a loss, his career is going to blossom after taking a loss because he's most definitely going to learn a lot from that loss. And I think his fans are so loyal, they're not going to turn on him, especially not the female 
uh, portion of his fan base. They'll probably love on him even harder after he gets beat up. But <laughs> I think it's just an inevitability at this point. You know, uh, Javante Davis seems really upset. He seems really into the fight. He, he seems really prepared and ready to go. If he loses, then most definitely Ryan Garcia had nothing to lose. And if he went, you know, balls to the wall and threw everything at Javante, then he deserves to win if he gets the uh, the victory. I'm not going to say nothing bad. I'm not going to say he cheated. I would say he deserved to win. And he, he went out there and got that, uh, that W like a man. And he deserves all the jubilation that comes along with that. Um, as far as this fight being fight of the year, I think it, it has the potential to be fight of the year, especially if Ryan wins. If Ryan wins, oh boy, does that muddy up the whole 135 water and, and throw a lot of monkey wrenches in there. And remember, there, there's only a rematch clause on behalf of Javante Davis. So if he loses, he gets to automatically get a rematch. But if Ryan Garcia loses he doesn't automatically get a rematch which is why i keep saying i think devin is most likely next for javante and and not if, if he wins and not a ryan garcia rematch on top of all of that it has a potential of being fight of the year if ryan garcia wins it has the potential to be fight of the year if javante gets some type of uh super more super spectacular knockout or you know punishes him for 12 rounds and just opens up his boxing skills let people see his real boxing skills it has the potential of being fight of the year and i think the the clash of these fan bases also makes it could make it fight of the year because it could be one of the highest selling fights of the year whether it's entertaining or not you know it, it only takes about five hundred thousand buys for you to be a uh, boxing fight of the year unless you're canelo or tyson fury or someone of that nature then you're probably pushing closer to the million uh you know 800 900 thousand buys but this fight could definitely be fight of the year it could be fight of the year if ryan just puts up a good performance he could lose put up a good performance go 12 rounds lose by half a point or a point and it could still be potentially fight of the year it's going to be how entertaining is it how it ended you know how much effort did, did both guys give and is it worth seeing again if it's worth seeing again most definitely could be fight of the year and I, i'm really proud of both of these guys for bringing the a game you know being really uh engaged when it comes to the the press conferences and everything and giving fans uh something to really look forward to whether the fight is super entertaining or not is to be seen we just want some old school style boxing man bring it back i think that's it for now y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below hit that like button for me sure 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 subscribe 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 holler at me on all social media platforms that's facebook that's instagram that's youtube that's twitter but you are more than likely to get a response if you holler at me over on youtube if you want to collabo feel free to hit my gmail my gmail is flock of cards at gmail.com please be down to work because we all about that work let's get it and we are Everything positive except the blood test. I'm positive, I'm fresh. I just gotta make progress. But everything's so political. I might as well run for Congress. I'm blessed. No need for debate. No need for the hate. And if you are a square, there's no need for your shape. In the circle, I found it. I am so well rounded. Terry Rozier, throw it down. Bitch, I'm clowning. If you wanna play, focus on rebounding. Has three mountains stacked on top of each other. Please, brother, watch these motherfuckers. Trust is rare. I have become a cynical individual. I do declare, but these niggas don't share and they don't play fair. Plus, my baby feet is growing. She gon' need a new pair. Scuffed up my kicks. I'ma need a new pair. Both of my girls tripping. I'ma need a new pair. 
about to bring back Derby Cruising. Bitch is my secretary. Everything I do so necessary. Cool lifestyle. Every month is February. Baby says she. Ain't